All right. All praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shabbat Shem Rechah Double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. This is the brother Antazaria from GMS Houston. All right. And um, I'm not sure what I'm going to title this lesson, but uh, I'm going to just uh, go into what led to me going into this topic. All right. And. Um, you women will learn your place, man. Okay. And um, it's actually kind of funny because as you see on the screen, all right, it says emergency alert, extreme. All right. Which this came across my phone. It was at what? 944. All right. It says National Weather Service tornado warning in this area until 1015, which is 944 now. No, it's uh. Let me see. 1037 now. Okay. But uh, it's still coming. I mean, it's it's raining cats and frogs, man. Okay. The skies is, is coming down and it's lightning. It's a lot of thunder. Okay. Which, hey, that don't bother me one way or the other. You know, it's just something. It's just what the most I got going on, you know. I actually like when it rains, you know, because you tend not to get bothered as much. But anyway, this particular night, this uh, alert comes out, right? So it says, take shelter now in a basement or interior, <laughs> interior, which we in Texas, man, ain't no basements, all right? Or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. If you are outdoors in a mobile home or in a vehicle, Move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Check the media. All right. Now, I got this alert. <clears throat> well, let me see. About 10, 15 minutes later, my phone rings. It's the woman I deal with. She shook. <laughs> you know, asking me, uh, are you inside? Are you? I'm like, yeah, what's going on? Oh, the thunder and lightning is just disturbing me. And, you know, it's tornado warning, blah, blah, blah. Just biting her nails, man. Okay. So I got off the phone with her. My phone ring again. This is another woman. Asking, basically asking the same thing, saying the same stuff. The weather, the weather, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, dang, y'all got y'all's panties in a bunch, you know, behind this. What you so scared of? You see, what what you so scared about? If you all doing what you supposed to be doing and right, you wouldn't be scared of nothing. But here it is. It's raining and lightning, thunder, all right, a tornado warning, which it ain't no tornado, okay? And so what if it was, okay? These women, they, they shook, okay? They, they shook, like that song from Mob Deep, shook ones, okay? Um, and I all kind of scriptures just start coming to my mind, okay? Because you women is out of order, man, okay? That's why y'all at home scared, calling me. And what the hell I'm going to do? Yeah, you say you worried about me, and maybe... But you more concerned about yourself because y'all's the ones who scared. Okay. <clears throat> and um all like I said, all kind of scriptures start coming to my mind. And another thing I had seen today, all right, which I'm gonna pull that up right now. All right, let's go here. All right. And this was from earlier uh last night around 12 a.m. Um and I'll read the heading. It says, uh, or the title, it says, Two dead, multiple people injured after party bus is shot up in Oakland. Okay. Now I want to play the first few seconds of this, if I can get it to go back enough. Damn YouTube. And there we go. All right. Now check it out. Let me cut it up a little bit first. I need to turn y'all stuff in. She had a job. She had a baby. It's not right. 
Right now at 6.30, we continue to follow breaking news this morning. At least two people, including a young mother, dead. This is after a party bus comes under fire. The story still developing by the minutes as investigators learn what led up to this violence. We want to get straight out to you today in the base, Bob Riddell, this morning, Bob. Let me skip ahead a little bit to about right. Right here. At least one other person was shot as well. And this happened around 1230 this morning. Uh, someone was in a car. They pulled up alongside this party bus while it was on 580 and started firing. Uh, we believe some of the shooting took place on eastbound 580 between MacArthur and Seminary. Uh, that section of the road was shut down for several hours. It has since reopened. And there was more shooting again at 68th and Foothill. We know this because we can see a lot of shell casings on the ground. And then the party bus ended up here at the Oakland Police East substation i asked chp about any two scriptures come to mind one we live in in perilous times and two the love of many shall wax cold man okay now this woman sitting there crying she had a baby what the hell is you out doing on a party bus at 12 30 in the night if you got a baby all right and this is sunday i mean this is today is uh tuesday now so this was last night okay 12 something on a monday night all right. Suspect information. Uh, they don't have anything, or at least they're not putting anything out yet. So we don't know why or what led up to this shooting. Miss Shell case. A whole bunch of young women trying to enjoy themselves. And someone took her life. A whole bunch of young women trying to enjoy themselves. Okay. What you think that's all about? And you know they was Jake, more than likely Judah, okay? Full of, a party bus full of, of young women just trying to enjoy themselves in the night at 12 something at night. 144. Okay? But you got a child. You should have had your ass at home with your child, taking care of your child. But again, these women is all out of order, man. Okay? Let me see if it's a little bit. That was the stepmother of the 19-year-old girl who was killed. And I also spoke to the 19-year-old's grandmother. She told us that her granddaughter was a young mother herself. Her baby is turning three this coming Saturday. Reporting live here in Oakland, Bob Rudelt. Now, nah, see? But, see, when, when things get bad, like tonight, these women try to find their place, you see? But it takes stuff like this to happen because our people are stiff-necked, hard-hearted people, man, all right? Especially our women. They, don't, they, they refuse to get under a man, all right? As a matter of fact, let's do this. Let's go on and get some scriptures. Let's go to 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter. Right here, 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, which is our Lord and Savior, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, he deliverer. That's what his name means. All right. And the head of the woman is the man. You see? Now I say this too. The women that was on that bus, you know, I'd party and stuff. Where was y'all men? And, and I guarantee you, they all have men or men, you know? And they men was cool with that. Or if they wasn't cool with it, they ain't say nothing about it. And we'll get another scripture for that, all right? But this is the order that the Heavenly Father has set up. The head of the woman is the man and the head of Hamashiach is the most high. You see, that's the order. The Most High, His Son, the man, then the woman. The woman is supposed to be under the man. Okay? But let's get a scripture. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 31. And is it 22? 
Yes. Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long will thou go about, O backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth, a woman shall compass a man. Okay? So, you know, I me and my girls, we it, we going out Monday night and party. We got a party bus and everything. We're going to be on there dropping it like it's hot, twerking, and whatever else these females do when it's a girl's night out. Okay, which is all wickedness. 100% guarantee. Okay. So these women is out doing what they want to do. And this is the con this is what happens. Okay. And well, what they, how you know what? Because the scriptures say, whoever perished being innocent. Okay. No one. No one. Okay, ever perish being innocent. Okay, um, let me get another scripture. Let's go to First Peter. First Peter, the third chapter. Let's see, yeah, now I want to bring out a point in this, this verse. This is First Peter three and seven. Matter of fact, let me see something. Hmm. Hmm. Let me start at five. First Peter three and five. For after this manner, in the old time, the holy women also, who trusted in the Most High, adorned themselves, being in subjection unto their own husbands. You see, we don't. Our women ain't in subjection to us because. They've been liberated. You know, I was looking at a picture and it had uh, women when they were liberated. I mean, when they were uh, in subjection under men and being oppressed, the house was taken care of. They was in the kitchen cooking, taking care of the children, teaching their children, raising them. OK. And take, you know, taking care of the homestead while the man was out earning a living, coming home, you know. That's when they were oppressed. Now they're liberated. Guess what they're doing now? They out on party buses in the middle of the night getting shot up. Shot up. This is what females live brought to you. Okay? Broken households. Okay? Children that's just out of line, just out of order, that you don't even want to run into, man. Okay? You don't even want to be around these kids, man. I ain't going to say kids. Children. Okay? Because kids are baby goats. All right? Yeah, this is what you get from with women's liberation, okay, and women being equal to men. But the point about since I said that women being equal to men, what do these women calling me for when the weather got bad? Hmm. Because women gonna find your place, man. Okay. It says, verse six, First Peter three and six. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord. Sarah called her husband Abraham Lord, man, because he was a Lord over her. Just like when you go down to pay your rent at the front office at your apartments, you go to pay it to the landlord. He's the Lord over that land. See, this, these, this new speak, okay, oh Lord, mm -mm, ain't no man, no Lord over me. <laughs> yeah, we gonna see, okay? When that freeze came here in Houston some months back, boy, you should have saw these women acting like women. You see? But it take all hell to break loose for y'all to snap back to reality. Okay? Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as you do well. And are not afraid with any amazement. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge. You see, that's something else we lacking. Okay? But we're not going to have this till we get back in the kingdom, man. Okay? Till we get into the kingdom, this, forget it. Write it off. Okay? But we will, in, in that day, seven women, I'll get that scripture. Okay? But uh, it says... Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. And that's the point I want to get. They the weaker vessel, man. They need a hedge. 
okay? They need to be watched over with a, a mindful eye, man, constantly, okay? They need to be in, under, in subjection to righteous men. Let me make that perfectly clear. Not just any man, okay? Because all them women that was on that bus, with the exception to the ones that probably was, uh, you know, bows, you know, elbows, you know, which was probably in there scheming and plotting on some of them and probably was already messing around with some of them, you know, with the exception of them, I guarantee you the women had men, but they wasn't righteous men of the Lord. A righteous man wouldn't have let his woman out there like that, or he could have, he'd have told her to get on, you know, but a woman is compassed to men, all right? It says, uh, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. All right. Um, matter of fact, let's get that in Isaiah and then we'll probably close. The book of Isaiah 4 and 1. Okay. And in that day, seven, all right, seven, which means completion. Seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. You're going to get back in your order. You're going to get back in your place when all hell, and see, all hell is already breaking loose, man. Okay? Just like I mentioned that freeze, the women whew, st started acting like women. They started being humble. Okay, and see right now our women got a problem. They prideful, man, and pride goes before a fall. So that's it, man. You know, I just wanted to speak on that. You know, uh, Lord willing, it was edifying. Shalom.